I am here with Heel Flucht. Yeah, there we yeah, go. Yeah, I'm getting good at this. And we're just going to have a little chat about the choice, um, which is the choice six now, choice I believe. Six, yeah. So we're getting along in the range. And this is the board that Heel's using, along with the pace, to do some of the most advanced big air moves in the industry. So Absolutely. what's changed about the board for this year? There's a lot that uh, has changed. I mean, the choice <laughs> was always a bit in between freestyle big air. wasn't really picking a side. And this year is definitely picking the big air size, especially the smaller sizes. So 134, 136, 138, I would definitely say are the big air sizes for this year. Um, it's incredibly aggressive. I'm very excited about this. <laughs> I don't know if we'll be able to show it on I'll the video. I'll do some close up so we can we'll have do a little close up look, later. It's got some really deep aggressive rails. channeling. Yeah, right? and some crazy aggressive channels. The fins have been angled outwards a little bit, as you can tell. Yeah. Uh, which gives you just a bit more grip and once you start putting that board on the on the rail it just wants to go upwind yeah which definitely helps with edging um, the carton 2 came out just um, after the choice 5 was released so we okay. didn't have any carton 2 in the choice 5 but we will now in the choice 6 and what's the carton 2 that's the carbon material that's the carbon that's material. super high end carbon so material, it's a bit right? lighter it's a bit stiffer um, and yeah it just improves overall um, performance and it's got the new straps on, the new Union Pro straps, um, which are a little higher on the side. Yeah. It's a bit more grippy, so you're really snug in there. Um, and yeah, they... They're a lot more comfortable. Nicely. A bit more comfortable. Did you try them yet? Yeah, I yeah. tried them, yeah. I think, I, like, last year when I was here, there was a couple of pressure points, because um, yeah. I've got big feet, and yeah, so same. I'm not, you know, so it's difficult to find foot pads that work. But this year, like, they were so comfortable, like no pressure points at all. Really, really nice. Feel like they grip your feet when you jump in. And like yeah. you say, when you put that edge in, like yeah, I never, never lost an edge, even in the choppy conditions that you get yeah. here in Cape Town, this board just has so much grip. So yeah, I'm very excited for this one as well. It's a, uh, it's very uh, modern design. Yeah. It's very bright colors. Um, and uh, yeah, I'm excited about it's it. It's stepping away from the black and white. It's yeah, it's, uh, core is going outside the box a little bit on this one, but just, uh, just a little bit, just a little strip. I love it. I think it's good. It. I think it looks, I think it looks good uh, visually, but I think especially just the bottom, it just looks like they really went all out to see if they can make the most aggressive. And big you, air board on the market and i think they're doing a fantastic job with this you mentioned that the certain sizes are more big air focused are they yeah. all kind of similar shapes or is there a lot slightly different stiffnesses or anything across the range or how's that work not really across the range it's more this year it's not as square i would say as okay. it was the years before it's got a bit more of a big air shape and that's why um not just from the channeling and the and the rails and everything but just from the shape on the top here as well it's a bit more rounded, like a big airboard should be. And uh, yeah, just more focused on, on getting a proper big airboard out there. Yeah. We have the Fusion 6, of course, which is a very good all-round board and it's been used a lot for big air. Um, but this is definitely a bit of a step up, I would say, um, yeah. when talking big, proper big air. Um, and then if you're doing more free riding and all-round and a little bit of big air, a little bit of this and that, then the Fusion is nicer because it's not that aggressive. But when you want to go big air, if you want to go for the pace and you want to go for your loop progression, this is the board I'd definitely recommend. Yeah, and it's super smooth through the chop I noticed as well, which yeah. for a high-end performance board was quite interesting. Yeah. I was expecting it to be a little bit more harsh, but yeah. out here in Cape Town where it's, it's bumpy a bit more as hell, forgiving than the air yeah, carved for sure. It is a little bit more forgiving, um, which was interesting, but still yeah. heaps of performance on the pop. Um, and like you say, endless edge grip, which is just what you want when yeah. you're riding big air. I think it's the perfect fit in between the fusion and the carved the perfect step up in between because the carved of course is very high performance but also very stiff it's not for everyone the fusion might be a bit too relaxed for 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 some big air riders so this is exactly just filling the gap that we needed to fill perfect yeah so it's a hell of a big air lineup from core exactly excellent thank you Helen. perfect